Well, hi everybody, Rich Peterson here from Rochester's Good Morning on KROC AM. All excited about Rochester on Tap. It's coming up. I have with me a whole raft of beer that I didn't bring, but Franco did from Flat Earth Brewing up in St. Paul. Uh, congratulations on the great beer and thanks Thank you, for sir. coming down. No problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. Franco, tell us a little bit about what we're going to see here or taste. Sure, sure. Well, first off, I'm going to push our four year round beers up for us here and we'll kind of touch base on that quickly. Uh, the orange label is a traditional Belgian beer. It's our mm -hmm. Belgian pale ale made with Belgian malts and Belgian yeast strain. Uh, the red label is our most popular beer. It's our American pale ale called the Angry Planet. It has a cascade hop, nice citrus finish to it. Uh, next to that, the blue label is our Northwest Passage. That is our true IPA. Uh, rates very high on the, on the IBU scale. Uh, it's quite tasty. And on the end, we have our porter, which we are moving into porter season. Mm -hmm. um, Cygnus X1 Porter, it's, it's a rye porter made with a chocolate malt. Uh, very tasty brew. It's probably our second most popular beer that we make. And along with those, we also have four, full, four of our seasonals. I have the Livid Planet, which is the same base beer as Angry Planet, just dry hopped with four different hops instead of just one. So it's mm -hmm. a hoppier version of our American Pale Ale. All right. I have our French Beer de Garde, known as the Avni Ale. Uh, it's a very malty beer, has a very unique grassy kind of taste to it. Very, very unique beer. Right here, I have our oatmeal stout that's infused with a special blend of Dunn Brothers coffee, known as the Black Helicopter. Mm -hmm. And on the end, I have our high octane 9.2% uh, Bermuda Triangle Triple. It's a Belgian triple. So tell us a little bit about Flat Earth Brewing and how you got started. How long okay. have you been up in St. Paul? Well, the brewery was actually started by another gentleman back in 2007. And in 2010, he ran into some financial difficulties. Mm -hmm. Uh, myself and another gentleman stepped in, took over the business, and we immediately knew we had to move from our current location, which was um, just off of West 7th by Pearson's Candy up in St. Paul. Well, after several years of looking for the right location, we decided to take on the project of rehabbing several buildings at the Old Hams Brewery on the east side of St. Paul. So we're actually brewing beer in was, what was once the Hams Brewery. Nice. nice. All right. Well, what should we what should we try first? Well, let's start off with the Belgian. Again, this right. is a traditional Belgian beer. Right. Off to the side here. You're going to notice with the finish of this, it has a clove type taste to it. Uh, that is the mm -hmm. Belgian yeast strain itself. I like it. Yeah, you can taste the clove. Yeah, it's. Uh, Got to try another sip. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Again, this is a traditional Belgian beer. This was actually the very first beer that Flat Earth ever mass produced. Mm -hmm. That was their first beer. Good. I would suggest we go to our American Pale Ale next, the Angry Planet. Okay, now, this, this is, is your signature beer? So this is the most recognized beer from our brewery. Nice red, white, and blue cap on it. Well, it's an American Pale Ale, so right. have an American cap, American flag cap on it. The hops that we use is the Cascade Hop, mm -hmm. and the Cascade Hop traditionally has kind of a citrus type finish to it. So you'll notice a little bit of a citrus taste to this particular one. And this is my personal favorite of our beers. I like it. Yeah, it's a good little beer. I have a feeling I'll be saying that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as we're Next. doing the Angry Planet, we're going to go on to the Livid Planet, which is the same base beer, mm -hmm. just that when we just hop when we dry hop it, instead of just using Cascade, we use a mixture of four hops mm -hmm. and more of them. And where do you get your hops? You well, sort of grown, or do you have to import them? And most of them are brought in from around the world. Do we have any hops here? There is some world? hops, and there's kind of a push for some places to, that are trying to grow more hops locally. The conditions are only average here in Minnesota for hops right now. It, uh, mm -hmm. The season's not long enough, but there's a few places that are trying to make it make a go of it. Now, this particular beer was known as Double Dry Hopped Angry Planet originally, and we had it for, for sale at, in Growlers at the brewery, mm -hmm. and one of our customers was in, and she jokingly said, it's not angry, it's livid. And I immediately said, that's the name of the beer. So we developed a logo livid with a local planet. artist, David Witt. And uh, it's, it's been livid planet ever since. Should we try your Dunn Brothers? I think we should go with the, the, the black helicopter. All right. Now, this is our oatmeal stout that um, the folks from Dunn Brothers 
give us a very special blend mm -hmm. of coffee that they don't sell to the public. It's just for us. And when we go in, the bag just says flat earth. Now, this is a dark beer without a doubt. I smell the coffee. Yeah, and the, the, the interesting thing is, is that it is a very coffee-forward beer, mm -hmm. but there's only about an ounce per gallon when it comes down to the ratio. And just the way that we make it, it really, really mm -hmm. pronounces that coffee flavor. Great in the morning. <laughs> it's your breakfast beer. <laughs> All right. What do we have? I'm going to go to the IPA. Uh, Avni. Nope. This or is our the... French beer to oh, Okay. This is a very unique beer. You will not find many like this at all in the, in the, in the state. Um, it is just the opposite of the hop world. It's a maltier beer. Mm -hmm. And it it's French hop, which I have a hard time saying. Striesel spouts. That's a, it's a very hard to say. <laughs> it's a French hop, and it has... That sounds German. A very grassy type, earthy taste mm -hmm. and smell from that hop. Quite different, but very good. You know, I don't even have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate that fact. This particular beer, our Cygnus X1 Porter, mm -hmm. it's one of our year-round beers. It's a rye porter. A lot of talk about rye beers lately. Well, we've been making a rye beer since the beginning, so a little bit ahead on that one. You know, I noticed a lot of your beers, you stay pretty much true to the to beer. I mean, you don't try to get into too many different types of fruit. You know, we do have some special infusions, like a, a really popular beer that we're just getting finished with is our pumpkin ale known as the Mummy Train. Mm -hmm. It's I'm told by many people that it's one of the best in the nation. Um, so we do have some of those. We also have um, a, a brew that we call Sunburst, which is a apricot infusion of this particular Belgian beer. but. For the most part, but those you are don't specialty over, type Yeah, stuff. some are overpowered yeah. by the fruit, and it uh, takes away the beer to me. Yeah, we like to say it's always beer first, and the, and the extra mm -hmm. special flavoring after that. And this one again is... This a, is the Cygnus X1 Porter. Okay. It's a rye porter, chocolate malt. A lot of people, when they first try this, liken this to a coffee beer. But obviously, after tasting our black helicopter, it, it's not quite as coffee as that. <clears throat> the difference being that... The porter is not quite as, well, not quite as stout, but it's not as thick. Yes. Stouts are a little bit heavier, a little darker. Mm -hmm. Before we go to the IPA, All right. we're going to jump to the big boy. This is our Belgian triple, known as the Bermuda Triangle Triple. Okay. It's a 9.2% beer. You're going to taste it, and you will not think that it's a 9.2% beer. It is very, very mellow mm -hmm. in its finish. You know, a lot of the higher alcohol beers, you can really taste that alcohol bite to it afterwards. You won't pick that up with this one. A little lighter, lighter hue. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Our highest alcohol beers are actually our lightest color beers, just by the malt bill mm -hmm. that we use. You know, there's also, you can taste some sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. There's a large volume of orange blossom honey that goes into the brew as well. And that's what helps us get the alcohol up yeah. there is that additional sugar. Sure. Excellent. And now for the Northwest Passage. This is... This will take us through the country that you can't go through yeah. this time of year. <laughs> yeah. This particular beer is rated at 115 on the IBU scales, but it's a very well-balanced brew. If you're a hothead, oh, man. this is a good one for you. By the way, cheers. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Flat Earth Brewery. You're going to love it. And we'll see you at Rochester on Tap on Saturday.